Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications of new and upcoming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about bass, uh, in particular net rigs, how to fish it and the lures that we use for net rigs. What we require for the demonstration here, a pair of mustard scissors, obviously our reaction net rig, different lures or worms, whatever you prefer. I prefer the reaction floating. Um, lures just that they stand up a lot better in the water when you're using your net rig and of course our FC fluorocarbon uh, okay so start off I'm just gonna take one of our reaction worms here and these are the stretch ones grab one of our net rigs And just to go through what a net rig hook or head actually looks like, it's a round head with a flattened off back. Um, the hook shape changes from supplier to supplier, but we really like this style. What it does is it actually sits on the bottom like that. Um, pretty much like that, guys. So it'll stand up straight, and then you'll pull it, you'll bounce it along the bottom. Um, if you use other styles or types, they tend to roll around and get caught up. A net rig is best fished in the dead of winter. After a cold front, um, when the fish are most lethargic. Um, it also works extremely well over a hard surface. In other words, over rocks, shale, um, hard sand. Because the lure actually sits like this. If you fish it through mud or salt, the head gets buried, the worm gets buried. Okay, so best fished in winter time. How to rig it is very, very simple. I'm gonna use a small one over here. So if that's my worm that I'm gonna use, and this is a floating worm, like I said, I'm gonna cut it about halfway down, like so, and put my glasses on. We're then gonna take our hook straight through the center and we slide it all the way up and out and again like I said go straight through the center and that's pretty much what it looks like Okay, using a soft plastic worm. So, with these reaction stretches, they float. So this part of it is going to be sitting up over there and it's going to be wiggling around. As you, you shake your rod tip, and again, with a net rig, you can use a conventional grinder or spinning outfit with a very soft tip. Um, and again, very important that you use fluorocarbon. The reason we use the fluorocarbon is it's heavy. It'll take the line down, it'll take the lure down. But this FC here is a fluorocarbon that once pulled stays straight and in line. So when you shake it, what you do in the rod, whether it be a spinning outfit or a bait casting outfit, whatever you do, on the rod will go through the line to the actual worm so it'll go through to the worm and you just shake the rod tip and the tail and everything will just basically vibrate very important for bass fishing with a net rig FC fluorocarbon guys it is heavy it's dense so it will take your lure down nicely this particular FC fluorocarbon once stretched will stay straight so any movement that you impair on the actual rod tip or will run down the line to the actual um, soft plastic 
And remember, fluorocarbon is invisible and is highly abrasive resistant. So fishing over rocky areas, this stuff, highly recommended. Okay, so that is one way of rigging it and fishing it. And again, it works best in open water. Okay, another way of doing it is using a creature bait. I'll just grab one of these creature baits. This is a little crawdad imitation. Let's take our reaction FC. And all you do, again, is just going to go straight through the center and out. Okay. So all we do, straight through the center, rub him around and pull him out, push him down onto the actual rubber and there we go you can see that's what it should look like and again it's uh, the reaction stretch floating so this now will come up like that and then you just shake the rod tip and this thing's feelers will move around it'll look like a little crayfish or a crab moving around little creature bait okay to tie it all we're gonna do is a simple figure of eight so obviously the line's going to come through your rod and I'm just going to show you this FC fluorocarbon. This stuff is absolutely brilliant. So there we go. It comes off the reel. You can see what it looks like. It's all twirly. The minute you give it a bit of a stretch, it basically stays straight. You can see that. It stays straight. Okay. So remember it comes from your rod to your thing. Easiest way to attach it, uh, again, is with a figure of eight. We just go through it. Do our overhand figure of eight, one, two, three times. Back through, pull tight. A little bit of lubrication and remember to slide it down. Cut off the tag end. And you are pretty much ready to fish. And there we go. So that's just gonna move around on the bottom as you shake your rod tip. And that's as simple as a net rig is. There's no rocket science to it. It is so, so simple, guys. Dead of winter, slow fishing, flick it out. Like I said, again, whether you're using a, a grinder rod or a spinning rod, or whether you're using a bait pass, doesn't make a difference. Flick it out in the open, over a rocky area, or an area that's got a lot of shale in that, and just work it slowly back to you. Net rig. Can't get simpler than that. Guys, don't forget, all the products you see here are available at all leading tackle stores nationwide, as well as our Kingfisher branches. Enjoy, guys.